Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be setting up the QSM Logic plugin. And you can use this service called InstaWP to quickly launch a disposable WordPress environment. It's extremely flexible and has amazing features, even with the free version. And the pro version is quite affordable as well, so check out their website at instawp.io. Alright, so let's go over to our QSM dashboard. On the left hand side, just click QSM. All right, so this is our QSM dashboard. Let's click Extend QSM with Pro Add-ons. So now we are at our add-ons landing page, and here we can select one of these annual plans, or if we scroll down to the bottom of the page, we can select the add-on that we need. So we need this Logic add-on. What we want to do is go over to the right-hand side, and here we can select the number of sites that we need this for. Um, once we're done, click Add to Cart. So on this page, you just want to go ahead and complete the checkout process. And once you're done, you should receive a link to download your plugin and you should also receive your license key. So you would need to upload your plugin to WordPress manually. And we are going to do this right now. So from the dashboard, we just want to hover over plugins on the left and click add new. So once this window opens, we just want to click Upload Plugin. And right now we just need to drag and drop our add-on from our computer to this box. So click Install now once you're done. And our plugin has been installed successfully. Click Activate Plugin. Alright, so we have successfully installed and activated our QSM Logic plugin. So go over to QSM, then go to Add-on Settings. So this is our Logic plugin. We just want to click Settings and paste our license key in this box right here. Once you're done, click Save Changes. So we have successfully activated our plugin. So now we just need to set up our quiz. So go over to QSM and click Dashboard. All right, so now we need to set up our quiz or survey. And if you do not know how to create a new quiz or survey, there is a link in the description with a video that shows you how to do so. But today we are going to be working with a quiz that I have already created. So under the button that says create new quiz or survey, click edit previously created quizzes. So from this page, we just want to click the quiz. And now we can edit our quiz. So these are our questions. Our first question is, are you vegan? And if we if we expand this question again, our question type is vertical multiple choice. And the next question is, what is your favorite vegan dish? And this question type is short answer. So what we want to do is display this question after a user answers yes to the first question. So if we expand this question again, you see we have two answers, yes and no. So if they answer yes, then the second question will be displayed. What is your favorite vegan dish? So I'm going to demonstrate how you can go about adding new questions to your quiz. So click create new question and type your question in this box right here. So we are going to type, are you a great cook? And let's enter our answers. Yes. Add new answer. No. Once you're done, click save question. All right. So now we need to add another question. We can either type our question or we can go to our question bank to select it. So here, if you click question bank, you will see all of the questions that you have created for all of your quizzes. So we are going to select our next question from this question bank. So you see our previous question at the bottom and our next question is right on top. It's what is your favorite meal to prepare? So click add question and go back. So our new question has been added to our survey. So we just want to go ahead and check our question by clicking the edit button. Let's make sure its question type is short answer. Okay. Now let's go to the logic tab to configure our logic settings. Click create new rule. So this is where we configure our logic rules. So for example, when the answer to this question, what fast food do you enjoy most? is equal to, and we have pizza from our answers, then show this question. So we can select the question that we want to show. Click save. 
Let's add a new rule. Click add rule. So if the question are you vegan is equal to yes, then show what is your favorite vegan dish. Click save. So let's add our final rule. So let's select our next question. At the bottom, let's select are you a great cook? If this is equal to yes, or we can select no, but let's leave it as yes. And let's select the question to show. So let us select what is your favorite meal to prepare. And once you are happy with your rule, you can click save. But I just want to show you guys that you can also select hide. So you can opt to either hide or show a question. And you can add multiple conditions to a question by clicking the add additional conditions button. So once you are happy with your rule, click save. So we are done with our rules. So let's preview our survey to ensure that everything is set up correctly. So click the preview button at the top. All right, so this is our quiz. Are you vegan? Yes or no? If we select yes, our new question pops up. What is your favorite vegan dish? So let's say vegan pasta. And for the next question, let's select pizza. And according to our rule, once again, the new question pops up. Let's select tacos instead. Next question, are you a great cook? Yes. According to the rule, the new question pops up. If you select no, it gets hidden. Click submit. So here we see, thank you for submitting your response. You can edit this message on the results pages tab. So I just want to quickly show you guys a new feature that was introduced for this add-on. So on the results pages tab, if we click add additional conditions, the default value is correct score percentage. On the right, we have is equal to, but we can change correct score percentage to questions. So for example, if our question is what fast food do you love the most? And right next to it, if we select an answer, so let's select tacos. So if the answer to this question is tacos, then this message on the right hand side will be displayed. So we can change this to something like, I like tacos. Let's remove this part. So this is our message. And as always, we can use variables from the bottom to customize our message. All right, so let's save our results pages. So once we're done saving, we just want to preview our quiz one more time. So here it is. Are you vegan? No. Um, I like tacos. And yes, I am a great cook. What's my favorite meal to prepare? Um, rice. <laughs> Click submit. All right. So you see it says I like tacos too. And that was from our custom results pages message. Okay. So let's close out these two tabs and let's go back to our dashboard. So all we need to do right now is publish our quiz. All right. So now you guys know how to install and set up the QSM Logic plugin. I really hope this video helped. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.